Hello vlog. Today we're doing a show vlog. It's currently like 12.30 and I got up like literally an hour ago. So I'm still in my PJs, but I'm taking, I don't know who I'm taking. It's gonna be a very busy day and I need to get changed, but I just wanted to do the intro real quick and then I'm gonna come back. I might get them ready now so I don't get my show clothes dirty. Yeah, I'll get them ready now, go get changed, and then trailer them out to the show. Yeah, anyways, let's go. I'm taking Sapphire, Cash, Star, and Casper. I just changed my mind. I'm scratching Casper. It wasn't like an expensive show or anything. I'm scratching him just because I did some high jump training with him the other day. And he can rest. He's good. I don't really need, he doesn't need the experience. But I think it'll be good to take Star, Cash, and Sapphire out. So, yeah. Gonna get Mr. Cashy Boy already, and then Sapphire, and then Star. He's so handsome. Yeah. Are you ready to go to a show today, bud? He's like, no, I'm sleepy. Me too, dude. Me too. I'm in a hoodie, or not a hoodie, a sweatshirt, sweatpants, and fluffy Crocs. So yeah. I'm tired too, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Curve come, curve come. <laughs> I'm getting excited now. I was sleepy a second ago, but now that I'm sitting in and I'm actually going to a show, I'm getting excited. Also, I will be vlogging um, the championships, so I'm very excited for that. That'll be a really fun vlog. Say yes, it will, and you're coming. It's gonna have so much fun, you have no idea, dude. He loves going places, so I think he'll really enjoy it. Today and the championships. He's also a really good traveler, and the drive is like, I don't know, it's not short. Okay, so I'm showing today. Wait, hold up, let me double check. Okay, so it's a really like versatile show. So they have a bunch of things going on. I'm doing the hunters with him, show jumping with Sapphire, and then dressage with Star. So a lot of a lot of different content content coming today. I can't talk. I never can. It's fine. And yes, I'm gonna plot their mains. I think it's gonna be so cute. You don't have to, but it's like really highly advised. And none of them really mind it. Um, they gotta get used to it, especially since we're gonna start showing a lot more. Okay, let the plaiting process begin. So basically you just kind of section it off however you want and then just do a normal braid and then you'll like fold it and then put a pin right there and then like kind of tuck the like extra pieces. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> my morning voice is not even funny right now. Okay, so there are his gorgeous braids all done. I like to braid and then fold them, and then I do the forelock last. All right, so they're a bit messy, but they're all done. And I think they look pretty cute. All right, his little adorable forelock is done. Um, I'm gonna put like a blanket on him so he doesn't get dirty, and then go grab Safi. He looks like a proper little show pony. It's so cute. All right, it's the scarf turn. Are you so excited? She did so well on her like first ever trail ride yesterday. Like, so well, like so proud of her. I'm obsessed with this halter, but it literally only fits her, so she's the only one that gets to be all fluffy. She's so adorable. Oh my gosh, look at you. I'm gonna do so good today. So if you ever seen running braids, like the one that I did on cash not too long ago, um, I did not do that. My mom did, so thank you, mom. Drum roll, please. I can't make a drum roll noise. Boom. So it is a bit messy. Thank you, mother. I don't care, though. It, this part is so pretty. It looks like a seashell. Um, it d gets the job done. Hers didn't really need to be plaited. Her braid is like impossible to braid. Um, or her hair is impossible to braid. 
So, glad we got something done. Last but not least, the Dressage Star. Star? <laughs> um, I'm so excited. I haven't done a dressage comp with him in so long. He's so good. Like, so good. I know I always show videos of him jumping. Because he's a good jumper and he enjoys it. But his dressage is another thing. It's so good. Such a handsome man. He's like literally one of the easiest to keep clean and it's it's really nice. What's even nicer though is my gray, aka Casper, who's literally completely white. Hates getting dirty, so he's like always like sparkling. Beach Waves boy. His mane is so beach wavy. It's so cute. All braided. Now I just have to fold the braids over. Okay, he is all plaited and ready to rumble. Since he's already in the cross ties, I'm gonna go ahead and tag him up first. Bridal on. I'm gonna show with my regular reins. I don't use my fluffy reins because it might rain. There's a lot of rain in one. One sentence, but yeah. Breastplate is going on first. Breastplate is on. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I'm gonna have him wear his fancy black with like the silver lining up on it because it's 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 schmancy and it matches the vibe. All right, he's all tacked up, and sadly, I don't think we're allowed to wear bridal charms. This is more of a stricter show, but he looks very fancy, so it's okay, I suppose. Let me pull up his big card on real quick. Okay, now we're all tacked up. I'm gonna be so late. I literally just remembered I'm doing dressage with him, and so I need to like take his breastplate off and his ear. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so late now. Like I said, I rarely ever do dressage with him anymore, so this was like not in my brain. I can't believe I just did that. No way. Okay, now we're looking a lot more dressagey. Problem averted. That would have been so embarrassing if I had showed up for dressage in my show jumping. Like. Eek! It all have gone so well. So pretty. Okay, time to get that actual show jumper ready. Not my dressage looks ready for show jumping. Oh my gosh, that's so, that's so embarrassing. Okay, moving on. Let's get her tacked up. I am going to put her like um, calming mask on along with an ear bonnet just to keep her chill. She's very sensitive in new environments and like crazy hectic stuff. And this is kind of a bigger show. So... Yeah, definitely gonna have to take all the precautions and make this as uh, like calming and not stressful at all for her because we're hard to have good experiences, not bad ones. They're a bit more laid back with Shoja Peak, so I can wear some colors. So I'm gonna do this cute little pink one. Such a cutie pie. Time for her mask. I did make it myself and it looks so good on her. I love it so much. Ah, she's so cute. All right, she's all tacked up. I'm gonna go eat lunch and then come back. Pack up cash and then roll out. Okay, I'm back. I just had a wonderful Mexican lunch. It was so scrumptious. Time to get this boy ready. Can you tell he's like, look, let me back up a minute. Can you tell he's 17 too? <laughs> like, look at Jet compared to him. Okay, anyways, um, let's get you all ready. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. There's like no tack because they're all wearing it. That looks so empty. Anyways, his bridal. So stunning. Okay, so I'm technically not supposed to let him wear this charm to the show, but it's really cute. It's his lucky charm. It's like just his. No one else wears it but him. So I'm going to try and sneak it in. I don't, I really don't think anyone's going to yell at me for putting a cute strawberry charm on my horse. Like what? The judges won't even see. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Alright, I'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna head out. I think I'm just gonna wear these black shorts with this brown shirt. Alright. Oh, let's go. Okay, guys. We made it to the show. Everyone traveled beautifully. Um, they're doing dressage. Show jumping and then hard jumping. So I have Star, Safi, and then Cash is going last. So I think they're still finishing setting up the like dressage like things. Um, 
So I'm gonna probably pop on Star in a second, just walk around the showgrounds and then try and be one of the first ones in to warm up. There's not really like an assigned time, so I'm hoping I can go earlier so I have time to get on Safi, just to, cause she can be a bit, um, a bit skeptical about some things. So I wanna get done with him as fast as possible. So basically I have a lot of time to deal with her and get her like acclimatized. I don't know if that's a word. Oh, that's from like that trend, acclimatize, acclimat, okay. Um, acclimated, that's the word, <laughs> with the like area. I'm going to stop talking and go ride some horses. All right, the arena set up, it's pretty tiny, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up. And then we're going to compete. All right, we're going in. Wish us luck. finished guys he did absolutely amazing so perfect all right so they're starting to set up the um show jumping course but they did just announce at least mine i don't know about others but they announced um the dressage scores so i got drum or well we got star and i got drum roll please a 28.2 so i'm really happy i think that was really good um yeah, super happy with that. All right, now I'm gonna hop on Safi, warm her up, pop over some jumps, get her used to the area, and then do our course. Okay, so the course is all set up. They're gonna let us warm up over this end fence right here. And I think the classes start in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna hop on her really quick and then pop over this a few times and then do our course. It's okay, it's okay, you're fine. It's okay. Good girl. Oh my gosh, please don't run me into the fence. Please, girl, please. Promise you're okay. Can we try it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Shh. Shh. I know, I know the helicopter's scary. Whoa. Just walk. Just walk. Good girl, good girl, good job. Can we come jump it? Sorry, okay, come on. Just try, just try, it's not scary. Oh my gosh, oh, good girl. One, two, three, there you go.
That's all the time we have for warm up. Probably talk about that later. Um, back at the barn, because I don't really have time to basically tell you all what just happened, but um, wish us luck, because we need it. Welcome to Sapphire and I's Jumping Around voiceover. So the first um, fence is actually this lovely little blue single. I kind of had to ride her to it. She took a couple trot steps, but we did get over it. You can see me patting her there. Super happy. Um, then I think it was, oh, it was this little like bounce one stride thing. She actually did it so beautifully. Like that felt and looked so good. And this like little three, I think I made it in a three. It's probably supposed to be a two, but it's fine. Um, she was so lucky at this. She like stopped and then jumped it, which I'm very grateful she jumped it. Um, but it's a bit messy. It's okay. That doesn't really matter. That's why I do this to experience her. And then here I had to give her a little smack. You can see that was just to get her over it. I promise it didn't hurt her. Um, gave her lots of pats and she got so many treats after. Don't worry. Holy crap. Was that so insane? Oh my gosh. I probably, I think I voiced it over, but Oh my gosh, I can't even. She is really, really, really good. So proud of her. That was like literally insane though. What the heck? All right, it's Cashy Boy's turn next. I'm pretty sure they're keeping the jumps the same way they are, but it's gonna be a different course. And then they're raising them up now because I only did like two, three with Sapphire because just because she's, she's a lot newer to jumping and we're only doing two foot in the championships, but I'm doing two six with him in the championships, I think. Or no, it is two foot. It's the only height option we have. But I think I'm doing like three foot with him today, just for fun, because why not? The jumps have been raised. This literal halter just broke, like what the heck? That makes me so sad. Oh my god, he literally, he's so perfect. He like didn't even notice. He's so sweet. Like he told like to just ran off. What the heck? Like, uh, huh? How does this even go on a horse anymore? Okay, well, I might have to go new halter shopping. Um because this is literally demolished. What the heck? Okay, let's let's ride and then I'll worry about this. Also, FYI, I don't think Cash did it. That halter was really junky, so I think it just came off, like just fell off on its own. Like it was just, it was done. So I don't think it was this guy's fault. All right, I'm gonna walk him, try and then do some canter and then pop over the warm-up jump. We have about 30 minutes till my round with him goes, so I have plenty of time. Good boy. Look how cool his shadow is. It's so cute. I think we're pretty warmed up, so I'm just gonna sit in the shade because it's like so hot right now. And just chillax till the round starts. Cashy boy's turn. This round was a mess, okay? Oh my gosh, he's like so good. He like saved my butt so many times. First jump, beautiful, perfect. Perfect stride, perfect jump, gorgeous. Like amazing, right, you know? Um, then we came around to this, like, little McDonald's line. I call it because it's yellow and red, so McDonald's. Um, anyways, did that in a two. Definitely should have done that in a two with Safi, but it's okay. And then I made this really bad turn. This is, I think I still had to show jumping brain because, anyways, this was horrible. It, the jump came up so quick, so we had, a, he refused. I, if we had jumped that, literally we would have crashed through it, so I'm so happy. Came around, don't know how we really got through it at all. He just, like... I kind of just kicked and held on and we made it. Um, lots of pats here. Trotted him for a second, um, let him breathe. I was exhausted by this point. Like, it's been, it's so hot. Anyways, we came back to this green. Sorry for the filming. It's a bit messy. I was, like, literally so tired. Um, did the green well. And then we had to come across the diagonal. You can't really tell. This filming part is horrible. And then it ended with this little bending line. We technically went clear, other than re the refusal. But we didn't knock anything. Um, gave him lots of pats. He was so good. Such an angel. All right, Cash did so good. He was literally such a saint and literally saved my butt so many times. He's literally, oh my gosh, he's so amazing. I'll probably talk a bit more about what happened with Safi and stuff, but I want to get these guys back untacked, hosed off, and in the AC as long, or as well as myself. I want to get in the AC as well. Um, so I'll see you guys back at the barn. All right, so we're back from the show. I'm going to talk about sapphire and her spooking and my plan with her so basically i think i think the mask helped her a lot and having the ear bonnet but she's such like a hyper fixated horse 
like once like that helicopter like if you heard it i think you did in the video it was really loud um she just once she heard that she couldn't take her mind off it till it passed so i was asking her to do stuff and she'd be like oh my gosh what the heck when did that get there like oh my gosh somebody was a jump in front of me what the heck do i do um and it's kind of an issue but i'm no i'm not gonna like sell her anything don't worry i love her so much i would never do that i'm not just gonna like give up on her like that either um i'm gonna train her i'm going to hire someone to come work with her like i'll still ride her myself but for the next like few months she's gonna be like train someone's gonna come to the yard and ride her and train her um like i said i'll still be working with her and riding her just not as much because this other person will i don't want to overwork her obviously but she'll be like like i said over the next few months she's going to be working with this other person and this other person is going to be like pretty much desensitizing her taking her on hacks like jumping her over tarps in the arena like waving like whips around like not hitting her like just like you know like like getting her seat to see stuff you know like spooky stuff and get her just to like kind of calm down a bit like i said she's also like three she's three so this is like nothing like crazy for her age or anything like it's expected um not every three-year-old is going to be perfect like <laughs> most aren't um so yeah i'm just gonna do that i'll still film with her a lot I'll probably take her. I probably just won't. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna hold back on the jumping. I think with her. I think I'm going to. I'll still jump her, but probably just like cro crosses, like cross rails, and um, very very small verticals, like a foot. Um, and just see how she does with that, and just work more on like having her see stuff, desensitizing her. Overall, she did great though. Like it was. It was just that one like green jump and just. I think once we kind of got going, she was okay. Um, obviously, wanna wanna improve, have room to improve, a lot of room to improve. Um, yes, yeah, so I got six with her actually, which is so surprising. I think the class was like there's like 14 people in our class, so to get sixth was crazy, especially in chair jumping. Like I totally thought, like we were like three seconds over the time, which I thought we'd have been like two minutes over the time because we were like. Just not really not really going for time you know um and then cashy boy he was i'm trying to think oh yeah we were like what was it we were like 17. <laughs> i know that's so bad it's kind of the refusal but that was there was like 35 or like 40 people in our class 17th was actually still really good um especially including we got a refusal but a lot of people did through that. I watched people go after us. Literally, like, pretty much every person I watched had at least one or two refusals. And a lot of them were in that same place where we got our refusal. So, don't feel too bad about it. Definitely work on that. Because I think in our hunter course for the championships, there's a bounce. So, we're definitely going to have to work on that. Um, super proud of all of them, though. Yeah. Star. He's over there. Star did amazing. So perfect. Um, yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll definitely be posting a lot more. Bye guys, love you.